In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The text for today's devotion is John chapter 18, verses 1 through 6. When he had finished praying, Jesus left with his disciples and crossed the Kidron Valley. On the other side there was an olive grove, and he and his disciples went into it. Now Judas, who betrayed him, knew the place, because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. So Judas came to the grove, guiding a detachment of soldiers and some officials from the chief priests and Pharisees. They were carrying torches, lanterns, and weapons. Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, went out and asked them, Who is it you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said. And Judas the traitor was standing there with them. When Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. What have you been expecting to see this Lenten season? What have you been expecting to see about yourself? What have you been expecting to see in Jesus? What have you been looking for? As you hear these accounts of the passion of our Lord, do you hear and see the kind of Savior that you think you need, the kind of Savior that you want? What was Judas expecting to see in Jesus as he led a group of soldiers and members of the temple guard to Jesus in order to betray him? As they made their way to the Mount of Olives with the light of the torches and their lanterns piercing the darkness, what did they expect to find? The leaders of the Jews were taking no chances in allowing a riot to take place. They took no chances in there being another foiled arrest as evidenced by the weapons they bore. What were they expecting Jesus to say? What did they think he was going to do? Over 1,500 years ago, one of the great church fathers wrote, God lay hid in that human flesh. And eternal day was so obscured in those human limbs that with lanterns and torches he was sought for to be slain by the darkness. The enemies of Christ did not expect to see true God hidden under the flesh of Jesus of Nazareth. Yet, by God's grace, this is what you now view. Yes, this hidden glory of God is what you by faith now expect when you hear these accounts of Christ's passion. Once again, marvel at just how upside down it appears. Jesus had announced to his disciples that they were going to meet his betrayer. John reveals that Jesus knew all that was going to happen to him. And the hidden glorious truth revealed to you is this. Jesus wanted this to happen to him. Even in going out to meet his captors, he walked willingly into his trials, his punishment, his forsakenness, and his death. Who would give himself into the hands of the ones who would kill him? Who wouldn't rapidly flee, but instead resolutely meet those who would arrest him? Only Jesus, and only for you, for your eternal good. Knowing exactly what would happen, and because he would lay down his life on his own terms, Jesus asked who his captors were looking for. In an exercise of the divine power that no one could see, but by the mention of who he was, hundreds of Roman soldiers and Jewish temple guardsmen fell to the ground. Jesus said, I am he. With this Jesus, you are safe. With this willing servant, you stand secure. By his work, you are forgiven. With the one who speaks, I am he, the one who is, I am, There is no part of your salvation at risk. There is no portion of the work of redemption left undone. It is exactly as it is revealed 
this perfect work of Jesus for you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, for your willing obedience, we give you thanks. For your selflessness in meeting your betrayer, we praise your holy name. For your complete control over those men who came to arrest you on the Mount of Olives, we rejoice. For your complete submission to your Father's plan, even to be betrayed by one of the twelve, we stand in awe of your love for us. Help us that we trust the word of your promises that you are all-powerful and all-knowing. By those same promises, drive doubt and fear far from our hearts. Amen.